Yo. V Raw, what it do? What's good? What's popping, man? Not so much, man. How you feeling? Pretty good, man. Just hanging. Just hanging out. How, how about you? Yeah, I'm just chilling here. Um, so, bro, about about the video, what uh, what influenced you to start like wanting to get in the short films, make these types of videos, make the virtual concerts? Because, like, from a fan perspective, part of the force as well. Like, we've been loving to see this transition for you artistically. Thanks, man. Yeah. 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 I feel like I've always really, really liked film and TV. Like most sane people, like I spent a lot of time in front of the TV, a lot of time at the movie theaters. And it became something that I was interested in, in terms of like the actual practice of it, probably in like 20, I think 2013, like right after Acerap was when I started uh, entertaining the idea of like, you know, doing acting stuff. And then very shortly after that, I realized because I'm a rapper, you know, concerts but then i you know like i i at one point i i found the house of kicks and i came inside and i started just making stuff and uh and yeah it's just been it's been a great learning experience and a great you know time to just like put that stuff you know together it's just a cool experience yeah bro it's kind of funny like i was just speaking to a few people this past week about like what impact does storytelling the highest medium of storytelling totally. i mean like i myself like i'm a huge george lucas fan like star wars has played such a part in my life um but like looking at the rest of your like the next stage in your career could you see you making like a whole short film for your next project i think i i think the project itself is it film based and i think yeah. like i think i'm into the idea of releasing new music with film as opposed to i think about it like this like a song is like a book you know what i mean like uh, when you were just talking about like the best version of storytelling it's like you know prior to like written history and stuff obviously there were people that were telling stories forever but yeah that's just sound you know what i mean so you're just hearing it and you have to imagine what the visual is and then this you know the inverse with a book where you're reading it and you have to imagine in your mind what it looks like and and then in addition to that what that space sounds like and movies just or film period gives you that you know the story in terms of diegetic or non-diegetic sound like the virtual concerts are like a, a, a the perfect like space where that shit meets and yeah. i've got a little taste of it with the shot down christmas but i think i think it's like that's like the best way to do it you know how like a lot of people used to drop songs and then drop the music video like you know months later or like a yeah. few weeks later and now even like a few days later it's like the most impact happens when people drop a video with the new song because people can take it all in at the same time. And, you know, there's an advantage to it. And I feel like, like you said, it's just the best form of storytelling. So the answer to your question is, yeah, I could see a, I could see myself releasing new music with accompanying, like, film to it at the same time, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Hey, could you see yourself dropping a film in the theaters? When things open back up? Yeah, I feel like you know I'm a huge fan of the cinemas. Yeah, but like that. I, if we're going talking about visual, that's the best best place to experience a story. Um, for example, 
I just watched Coming to America 2 last night. And yeah. niggas was hating on it. But I think it's because <laughs> the experience is just always going to be different. I watched it at the House of Kicks with a bunch of friends in this gigantic, you know, movie theater that's 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 at the House of Kicks. And so I, we all experienced it in a way where, you know, I don't know when you see when you do when you go to the movies and you get a movie experience and you can laugh with, you know, most cases, strangers, you know, and like experience all this new information at once. It's like, I don't know. It's just it's just. It's like you know, how all of us perceive like a different form of reality. Like you could have 10 people in the same room and have one experience or one moment and they could all interpret it entirely differently. Yeah. You know? um, but yeah, more about the video, like what influenced you to put all of the lyrics on the screen as well? Like, I felt like a lot of people just really enjoyed that. And I saw the little touch of uh, the uppercase B in Biden and the lowercase T in Trump. <laughs> Thanks, what influenced man. you there for that yeah so that so that that actual like it's it's a few things so like i'm really like into like uh the idea of like nostalgia and then in film like you know familiar aesthetic and shit and i've never really had a video except for i guess brain cells where i had like you know cat The line you know i don't know it's just like a it's a thing for me where like it's never timed out in a way where it doesn't give away what the character is about to say and as somebody who like looks at scripts a lot and shit and like you know have you ever seen that thing where like you can look at like the script of a movie and then how somebody was acting it out and what they ad-libbed and yeah, what changed yeah. And all that stuff and how it's edited like i i look at movies like that and like instantly see it on pages in my mind and I'm like oh she shouldn't have said what like that or you know whatever like yeah. I, I I feel like subtitles just fuck it up for me on top of that so I was always anti-subtitles but there's a speed reader app that that's out where you can like read books like like a whole chapter in like two minutes because it flashes the lyrics really fast in that exact kind of way like you know yeah. it, it's, it, it wasn't like scrolling or like you know, a long line at a time. It was rhythmically timed, you know what I mean? Each yeah. each word. And so I thought about it as like a way to get across the storytelling better because I'm rapping about how it's hard to write, not because I don't have the words, but because I don't always know which perspective to come from. So I wanted to make the words really clear and that shit seemed to work for me. But it was honestly an afterthought. It wasn't something that we originally shot for, but it worked really well. Um. Because if you notice, like, the shots are, like, it, it's it's very cinematic and very, like, the scale is huge. You know what I mean? It's a lot of either yeah. super wide shots or super, super close-ups, right? And yeah. that's how they make things feel cinematic or big in the movie theater. Because a person who does it really well is Wes Anderson. He does a lot of what's called uh, planimetric symmetry, where it's, like, really flat, but it's... you know, painting, whatever it is. And so I tried to, like, mimic that a little bit because I'm a fan of him, like, Amin type shit. And uh, and it ended up working out well because the shots are so flat and so wide or so tight. The words in the center still, you know, it doesn't, it's not a lot of movement that would, you know, mess up the visual of it. Yeah, no, I also loved how, like, there really wasn't really any too many special effects and i feel like a lot of times for cinema like for things of that nature and transitions and whatnot like less is more and yeah. something like a you know george like talks about like the making of star wars a lot like it was never about like you know the tie fighters or the death star like that's just an addition to like a joseph campbell hero's journey type story yeah. um but also for like the hard tongue and like you also say to like him you know, prior to like when I hopped on, like the influence of like Greek and like the history of like philosophy and shit. Like, where did that inspiration come from? Like, have you read like Socrates or Plato at all? 
I honestly hate philosophy. I used to like in school be I went to a college preparatory school and we just had like a lot of extracurricular classes that were, you know, reading based or like history based. And to me, like Greek, you know, theater and is the, you know, the pinnacle of like storytelling and just like the way that the shit has been kept and the way that, you know, it started off orally, but, you know, I wanted to really like highlight this, you know, not the duality, but the contrast between the heart and the flesh, you know what I mean? And the flesh yeah. being either the tongue um, or the mind and the mind being so, you know, based in like, but like the, like Talos of Miletus, like he's the dude who basically was like, we need to stop saying everything is coming from the gods. Like everything is natural. Like he's like, you know, a father of modern science and, and mathematics. Like, so the idea of like, is something that is antithetical of what the heart represents. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, uh, I don't know if I'm breaking up because you're frozen right now. I'm getting yeah, a little no. funny. Am I frozen? You're doing, the, you're doing the same for me, but I can hear you perfectly fine. Word. Well, yeah, I was just basically, I was giving a really long way to answer for, yeah, I feel like the song is, is very, very, um, you know, uh, meta. It's introspective, but it's also like speaking about something that's happening. And the And the video is... You know, I heard you talking about the hero's journey earlier. It's it's based on um, Dan Harmon's story circle and coming back, yeah. like, and and you know, having this this uh, you know this characterization happen of myself and just how I'm speaking about being uncertain to being you know on the sidelines, not really worried. Like, uh, is you know something that I wanted to represent in the song and in the film piece. And uh, the same way that it's like very on the nose with stuff like that. It's like, if I'm talking about the mind, I think it makes a lot of sense to use <laughs> as many big words and, and <laughs> as you know what I mean? Yeah. Where I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if there's anybody else that wants to jump on before I jump off, but those were great questions. Appreciate you, man. Great, man. Keep it coming. Much All right. Peace. Peace.